As a manager, you need to have a clear idea of the work hours of your employees, but going through a long Excel worksheet can be too tiring. Wouldn't it be great if you could see the data and get the necessary insights very quickly? In this case, using a pie chart can be a great relief for you. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and Vivio tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulbasher and today I will demonstrate how to make a pie chart in Excel with words. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the employee working hours dataset. We have the names of the employees in column B and their respecting work hours in column C. Now we are moving to the making pie chart worksheet. Here we will create the pie chart. Select cells B4 to C10. Move to the insert tab. In the chart section, Click on insert pie or donut chart. This will open different options for the pie and donut chart. In my case, I will select the 2D pie chart. This is a basic view of the pie chart. Now I will customize this pie chart. You can do this in two ways. Select the pie chart, move to the chart design contextual tab. From the chart layouts, click on add chart element. Here you will find different options to customize your pie chart. Alternatively, you can click on this plus sign, which is the chart elements, and customize the chart using these options. To clearly understand the data, I will check the data labels. To check out the available data label positions, click on this arrow. From the options, I will choose data callout. Here you can see that the work hours are presented as percentages in these data callouts. You can change the position of the legends too. To do so, move to legend and click on the arrow. Here you will find different options to place the legend. In my case, I will place the legend to the right side of the chart. Now I will change the style of the chart. In the chart design contextual tab, from the chart styles group, click on this drop down icon. If you hover on a chart, you will get the preview of that chart. In my case, I will select style 7. Great, the chart is looking really nice. Let's explore the other available pie chart options. I will try out the pie of pie and bar of pie charts one by one. First, I will create a pie of pie chart. Select cells B4 to C10. Move to the insert tab. From the chart section, choose insert pie or donut chart. Click on pie of pie chart. As a result, a pie of pie chart is created. Now I will add the data labels. Move to chart elements and check the data labels. This time I will try out style 5. Here you can see this slice of the pie chart is broken down in a separate pie chart. Here work hours of Jack and Leo that is 10 and 8 makes 18 in this slice. In this way you can use the pie of pie chart to highlight a slice in a separate pie chart. This time, I will create a bar of pie chart. Select cells B4 to C10. Move to the insert tab. From the chart section, click on insert pie or donut chart. From the 2D pie, choose bar of pie chart. To add data labels, click on chart elements and check data labels. Click on this arrow. This time, I will select outside end. You can see that this slice of the pie chart is broken down in this bar chart. That's why you can use the bar of pie chart as an alternative to pie of pie chart. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for making a pie chart in Excel with words. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to make your own pie chart with words according to your requirement and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit excelthemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.